Henry the Goose lived on a beautiful farm down in the country. Henry was a quiet, small, friendly, and shy goose. The other geese were always mean to him and never accepted Henry as part of their flock. So it was always something that I had wanted to do uh, growing up and I thought, I figured why not on the um, topic of bullying because it is such an important issue in our community um, and through a children's storybook it really gets through to children How, and also I use the idea of the goose because what inspired me was seeing a real live goose on top of sitting on top of my dad's garage and I was watching this goose and it wouldn't move for a really long time and then that's how I incorporated the topic of bullying using the goose Hey Henry, you're not big, fast, or strong like us. We can fly high to the sky and over the barn through the meadow. You can't even fly over that wishing well. You will never be as tough as us, boasted Ronald the Goose. Ronald was the strongest goose on the farm, and he bullied Henry every time he came around. Does that Ronald sound like a good friend? So the book is about bullying and it also encourages children to believe in their dreams. Uh, in this case, Henry is the goose is the main character and he is bullied by the other geese on the farm and his dream is to fly on top of the barn like how the other geese can. However, his dream is shattered by the bullies who keep telling him that he is no good, he's not as strong and fast like them. However, at the end, it is a very happy ending because uh, Henry regains his self-esteem and he accomplishes his goal. But when Henry looked down, he suddenly didn't feel so well. That barn was so high and Henry did not have the courage to get down from the roof. Hours and hours went by and Henry still couldn't move. Along came Rocky the dog and yelled up at Henry. Rocky was a happy dog who loved to play fetch on the farm. He was Henry's best friend. Hey Henry, just fly down using your wings. I can't, Rocky, said Henry. I'm too scared. I want children to feel inspired by the book. It is a chance for them to realize that they can reach their full potential through any dream that they may have and not to let anyone or nobody or no, nobody uh, ever shatter their dream. I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. Henry closed his eyes, flapped his wings with all his might. I, I, I did it! When Henry the Goose opened his eyes, he made it back to the ground. All of Henry's friends cheered for him, except for Ronald and the other geese. But how, but how, started Ronald. Oh, Ronald, said Henry, thank you for not believing in me. You helped me to believe in myself, and that is all that matters. So how does Henry feel right about now? Happy. Happy. He feels happy. And what is that word? It starts with a P. He feels very proud because they told him he couldn't fly to the top of that barn, but he decided not to listen to them. And he showed them that he could do what he set his mind to do. All right, boys and girls, thank you so much. You sat so well during that story. I'm actually very proud of all you guys for doing the right thing.